Oh no, he looks broke. Definitely lives with his mom. I don't even know what to say about that one. Oh. Well, here you. Uh, go. Thanks. You know, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you wanna maybe go get something to eat? We could go to Darla's or... Darla's? <laughs> do you really think she's that type of girl? Eating on a cheap restaurant? How about I take you to a fancy one? Like, I don't know, Giuliani's? Mmm, now we're talking. Yeah. Wait, what kind of a car do you drive? A Honda, why? Ew. Oh. I drive a Beamer. A BMW? Wow. <laughs> you know, uh, well, um, <clears throat> my mom, she sometimes lets me use her credit card. She does. Yeah. I have a credit card, too, with no limit. Did you say no limit? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Let's go. Yeah. So, uh, wait. I have a backpack filled with cash. Uh-huh. So I can take you on any shopping spree. Did you just say shopping spree? Yeah. Let's go. Hold on! I have the new Darman, Santa Genie, and Monsters Legend. Did you say you have the new Dar... Darman, Santa Genie? Yeah. Forget about shopping. Let's go play! Yeah? Yeah! Okay, yeah. All right, so how do you do it? Wait, 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 wait. Show me, show me. Watch it. Wait, where are you going? What about my shopping spree? Hey, Darman fam, Monsters Legend is an awesome free-to-play mobile game that's available now on all devices. You can collect over 900 monsters with different elements and build your own monster empire. Plus, there's new monsters coming out every week. And now you can get my newest monster, the Darman Santa Genie, in the game where you can grow your empire by breeding monsters feeding them to evolve, leveling them up to boost their powers, and then crushing other players. Download the game now using the link in my description or the QR code, and you'll even get a special free starter pack. Which includes 20,000 food, 100,000 gold, five gems, and 10 Darman monster cells, which you can use to create my monster in the monster lab. I hope you love the game. Now let's go ahead and start today's video. Brooklyn Balboa, is that all you got? What is going on here? We're trying to get some work done. Yeah, what do you guys think this is, Caesar's Palace? What are you doing with boxing gloves? I'm trying to learn how to protect myself. Protect yourself from what? Veronica Payne. She's this bully at my school who's always picking on me. A bully? Listen, if someone's bothering you, beating her up isn't the answer. Use your words to solve the problem. Are you kidding me? Words aren't gonna protect me from left hook. Whoa! Oh, oh, look it. Maybe you can talk to the principal. Or we can call her parents. Yes. Yeah. Don't you guys know anything? If she does that, then she'll be the school snitch. That's even worse than being bullied. I'm telling you, this generation makes things so much harder than it has to be. You got that right. I mean, being a kid was so easy. I have no idea how they're gonna survive being an adult. Are they for real? Being a kid is way harder than being a grown-up. Mom! Dad! We have to deal with bullies. And peer pressure. And homework. You know how hard it is to get good grades? You know what's really hard? Paying bills! And running a business. Have you ever dealt with an entitled employee or a rude customer? Of course not, your kids. You have it made in the shade and you don't even know it. One, stop using those boomer phrases. And two, if anyone has it good, it's you guys. You have money, freedom, and you can do whatever you want. Yeah, I bet if you switch with us for a day, you'd see how hard it is. Right, Will, I'm sure we'd be singing a different tune. <laughs> <laughs> we have no idea what that even means. What did I just say about those boomer phrases? Let's talk after class, okay, Will? Okay. No matter what I do, I can't get above a C. I even had Dad help me study for this one. I like to see him take the exam, but he'd get a D or an F. Yeah, you're right. 
Today we're going to be talking about the American era of child labor. Brooklyn, isn't that the name of a city? It's a borough in New York. My parents met there. Oh, how romantic. <laughs> what kind of parents named their kid after a borough? It's like they wanted you to be a loser. Hey, stop talking, or else I'm gonna- Keep it down back there. You're lucky she stopped you from saying something you'd instantly regret, Will. Okay, so in 1911, over 2 million children in the U.S. under the age of 16 were employed. Does anyone else want to come up and write down a fact that they read in last night's homework? How about you, Brooklyn? Oh my gosh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I, um, lost my balance. Be careful, okay? Uh, Alex, why don't you come up instead? Sure. Are you okay? Yeah, I can't stand Veronica. Who knows what she'll do next? Yeah, we need to practice more boxing when we get home. Mom and Dad have no idea what we go through. Exactly. I wish there was a way we could switch places and they have to come to school. Okay, we'll pick this up tomorrow. Oh, and don't forget, Tomorrow is bring your parents to school day. Whoops, sorry. I'm sorry, ma'am, but without the original receipt, we can't return the item, especially since it's broken. I want my money back. It's not my fault my son threw it off the balcony. What kind of cheap toy breaks from falling three stories anyway? I wish there was more I could do to help. This is absolutely unacceptable. I want to speak to your owner now. I am the owner. Well, then I'm going to give you lots of bad reviews and take it up with my credit card company. <laughs> Here. Have a nice day. Hanging in there? Angry customers three, zero. Oh, one of those days. Well, maybe I should wait to show you this then. No, it's fine. It can't be any worse than what I just dealt with. Lay it on me. Rent is going up again? Wonderful. This can't get any worse. Hey guys, do you have a minute? Uh-oh, that statement never ends well. I know, I'm sorry, but I'm putting in my two weeks. I got a higher offer somewhere else. More than $18 an hour? In retail? Yeah. They're giving me 20, and I couldn't turn it down. Gosh, I don't know how other places are surviving paying this much. I mean, we're barely keeping our heads above water as it is. Uh, this says effective immediately, but you said you'd give us two weeks. Oh, sorry, I actually have to go right now, but I'll be around if you need me to help train anyone. Actually, I don't want to lie to you. I probably won't answer, but take care. <sighs> so stressful. I must be in a kid where we had no responsibilities. I know, right? Brooklyn and Will have no idea how easy they have it. Ooh. Being an Ooh, adult is so... It's down! <sighs> Hard. Why aren't you eating? I'm sick of pasta. Can't you make me something else? Do you know how hard it is to work all day, then come home just to cook you dinner? No one said you had to make anything. Can't you just order something in? Do you know how expensive that is? Here we go again. The delivery fees alone cost more than a box of pasta and bread. It's not easy putting food on the table or a roof over your Please. head. Please! I'm sick of you guys complaining all the time. I had a hard day too, and I'm not complaining. Oh, doing TikTok videos and hanging with your friends. It must be pretty hard. Really? Is that what you think we do all day? Hang out? Try spending a day in our shoes. Then you'll see. I wish we could. I'd love to have no real consequences. I mean, even for 24 hours. I'd go back to school. It beats working all day. Well, tomorrow you'll get to is bring your parents to school day. I forgot about this. There should be a bring your kids to work day. Mm -hmm. That way they know how- That's it! You guys think your life is tough and we think we have it worse, right? Well, the only way to settle this is if we switch lives. Tomorrow you guys go to school and we'll go to work at this store. And we'll see you as a harder. 
I don't think we can go to school without you. The whole point is you bring us to school. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure there's child labor laws against you both working. You guys own the store. Who's gonna say anything? And you guys can say that we're just both sick, but you decided to come anyway. I don't know. I mean, it might be good for them to see how good they have it. It's like the saying, you never know how hard someone's life is until you walk in their shoes. You are preaching to the choir right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is that a yes? I don't know. What do we say about those boomer comments? What we're saying is that we're in. Yep. We're gonna have to start talking uh, like Gen Zers. Oh yeah. <laughs> no cap. Yeah, the caps are off. I don't remember this desk being so small. Before we have the parents come up and talk, does anyone have any questions? I've got one. Why are they here? Shouldn't they be at home caring for Will in Brooklyn if they're sick? That's what any good parent would do. That must be Veronica. I'm sure they have their reasons. And it's nice that they could join us. Actually, Anna, would you like to start? Uh, what would you like me to talk about? Whatever you like. Sure. I hate public speaking, it makes me so nervous. Hi, I'm Brooklyn and Will's mom. Gosh, I haven't been in front of a class since the Stone Age. <laughs> Veronica, stop. I'm sorry about that, Anna. Please continue. You're right, it's been a long time. Back when I was in school, we used books, and now, Everything is on a tablet. <laughs> we literally use books too. Gosh, <laughs> enough with the boomer humor. Can you just move on already? I mean it, Veronica. This is your last chance. Whatever. Now I see where Brooklyn gets it from. You know, I might not be as hip as I used to be, but when I was a kid, I was the main character in school. <laughs> you could say I understood the assignment. <laughs> I, I looked up Gen Z sayings. Am I not seeing it right? Let me just look it up. And here's a term for you. Say less. All right, that's it. You're going to the principal's office. Are you serious? I didn't even say anything that bad. Get your stuff and go. Now. I am so sorry about all this. Uh, you can go ahead and just have a seat. Okay. You know, I don't like the way you talk to my wife. Be quiet, simp. Hey. Meet me at the playground at 3 o'clock today. If you don't show, I'll find you. That girl scares me. I can't believe she called me a shrimp. I am way taller than her. Give me the no, book. no, no! It's mine. It. It's the last oh, one. Give no, it to me. It's give it. mine. Give it. Jeez. Hi. Is everything okay? I want to talk to a manager right now. Um, that's me. I think. That's you. You're like twelve. Thirteen, actually. How can I help you? Well, Karen over here keeps trying hey, to take my doll. That's not nice. Don't call her that. Actually, my name is Karen, so that's fine. But the real issue is she's trying to take my yippee yay doll. It's my doll. I saw it first. Besides, my kid loves this show. I have to have it for her. My kid nice. loves this show too. Give no, it to me. Which one? Give it to me. Breaking the box. See what she did? I don't want it now. Go ahead and have it. Karen! I'm not buying a damaged toy. Uh. I think we have a problem. Why am I scheduled Saturday? I told you I don't like working weekends. You think I like working weekends? I work the last three Saturdays. Okay, let's calm down. I'm sure we can find a compromise. Yeah, can't you guys just figure it out when my parents get here? No, there's nothing to figure out. I already made plans, so I'm not working. Well, I've worked here longer, so I have seniority. Which means you also get paid more. If I got paid what he got paid, then I wouldn't mind working Saturdays. Uh, let's just stop talking about this. I think that guy's stealing things. Hey, put that all back! Get back here! Can you guys stop him? Well, maybe if I got paid more, but I don't make enough to chase bad guys. Well, you're not gonna get a raise with that attitude. I should have never done that TikTok with that kid. I think I pulled something on my neck. You okay? Do you think Veronica was serious when she said to meet her at 3 p.m.? She seemed serious. 
What a day. I can't believe we had a stain clean up. Tell me about it. Maybe mom and dad were right. Maybe it is harder being an angel. We can't make them think that. They'll never let us live it down. We gotta make sure it seems easy breezy, okay? Okay, Boomer. Huh? You're starting to talk like mom. No, I'm not. Never mind. Maybe I should call her mom. And be a snitch? You heard what the kids said. They're coming. Sit up straight. <laughs> Hey guys, how was it? It was great. Mm hmm Easiest job in the world. I don't know what you guys complain about. How was school? I bet it was hard. Not at all. It was so much fun. We had a blast. Yep, it was easy breezy. See what I mean? She's rubbing off on me. Well, I'm gonna go take a shower and relax. Same. Not that we're tired or anything. Wait, we're switching roles for the day, right? Well then, your day's not over. What? Yes it is, we get off at five. Our day's not done at five. You two are making dinner. What? Unless you can't handle it. I mean, we'll understand. It's really hard being an adult. What Will meant to say was, what do you guys want for dinner? Yeah, right. We can make PB&J, mac and cheese, ordering pizza. Nah, we're sick of all that. We want something different, something better. We'll just sit here and relax and watch some TV. Ah, uh, uh, uh. your guys' day isn't over either. You have to do your math homework. Are you serious? There is no way that I'm going to- Wait any longer to do our homework? That sounds like so much fun. <laughs> we love math. <laughs> love it. Oh boy. Something new under the sun. Mm. You can't take back some things you already done, done. No. You blame things that you do on somebody else. Mm. Oh, but still you. Up your games, you try so hard. Uh, hoping that one day uh, something gonna change. How come you aren't eating? This is horrible. Honey, can you make me something different? Actually, that's the kids' job. Let's ask them. Do I really have to make you something? Do you know how hard it is to work all day and then still come home and make dinner for you guys? Yeah, and we can't just order something in. Do you know how expensive that is? So sorry, you're just gonna have to eat this. But my responsibilities are over, so I'm gonna go finish this in my room. Not so fast. Who do you think's gonna clean all these dishes? Fine, we'll do the dishes. So hurry up and finish your food. You said it first. No, you did. We won. It's one. It's one. We definitely Mom, won. We definitely won. So Our life you guys like so Look, fine. I'll be the first to admit it. You guys are right. Being a kid isn't that easy these days. You guys are also right. It isn't so easy being an adult either. I think we've all learned you never know how hard someone's life is until you walk in their shoes. Got that right. So does that mean we don't have to do the dishes? as long as I don't have to eat this mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, let's go out to dinner. We deserve it. Actually? Yeah. Yes! I wonder who... Open up, Anna, I know you're in there! Veronica Payne. No. I'll handle this. I'll show her who the shrimp is. <laughs> Are you okay in there? Uh, no, Mom. I'm throwing up everywhere. I don't think I can go to school today. <sighs> I got... I'll open the door in a second, okay? I'm just throwing up everywhere. Wait, how'd you get that door open? 
I've been your mom for 11 years, Jay. I think I know how to get around your little schemes now. Now, what are you doing up in here pretending to throw up? Mom, do I have to go to school today? I, I hate that place. Why do you do this every morning, Jay? The answer is the same as it's been every other day. You're going to school. I lost the car. No. What are your plans? Nuh uh. I know. I'll make your favorite dinner macaroni and cheese and collard greens. You know, the last time you tried to cook, I almost had to call the fire department. Now, come on. You're going to be late. You're a hard person to bargain with, you know well, that? Well, now we know where you get it from, right? Come on. Wait, I thought you were supposed to be out today. That was the plan until my mom walked in on me fake throwing up. Mm hmm. I told you, you should have gone with a rash. Bro, no. Her and Mikey's mom talk all the time. She knows about the allergic reaction scheme already. Mm hmm. And she wouldn't know about the fake throwing up? All right, class, finish up. Be sure to look over these problems tonight. One of them will be a bonus question on your test tomorrow. We got a test tomorrow? Mm hmm. She's been talking about it for weeks. Let me guess, you haven't studied. No, I didn't study. You know Modern Warfare 2 just came out. I gotta get out of this. I need a master plan. Plan of all plans. A CIA level plan. Wait, where's Mikey? He's the goat at getting out of exams. You know, he really is the worst of all time. And he's out. I'm surprised you don't know that. He broke his ankle playing basketball. He's out for like a whole month. A whole month? Mm -hmm. So you mean he doesn't have to do any school? Or take any? Don't. My mom would never question me about having a broken ankle. Just a couple weeks ago, she caught you trying to fake a broken arm. So. Uh, but back then, I was an amateur, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm a pro. She won't suspect the thing. I don't believe it. I stole it from the nurse's office. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, because you know, everybody loves it when people steal things. Um, you know, I really thought this is a good idea. Oh, Jay, hey. uh, what happened to your ankle? It's broken, Mom. Broken? Why didn't anybody call me? They they tried to, but they couldn't get a hold of you, you know? Look, I'm okay, though. I'll be fine. Oh, no. No, no, no. You're not okay. All right? I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. Mom, 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 Please do not go in there yelling at anyone, okay? It's not as bad as it seems. See? See? Just... Ow! Okay, 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 honey. Ah. Don't put any pressure on it, all right? I'll get you to the car. I feel bad. Now you're going to miss school. Uh -huh. oh. Bye, Jay. Take your time. Take your time. Okay. Come in. How you doing, honey? Uh, I'm okay, but the pain is too much to bear. Okay. Ah. okay. All right. Well, I called Dr. Gonzalez to make an appointment to get some x-rays later. An x-ray? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think I need that. You know, I've been drinking my almond milk, you know? I, I'll be fine. No, no, don't worry. Just relax, okay? Keep that ankle elevated. Okay. And I'll call later and check in, okay? Uh, okay. Thanks, Mom. No, I hate that I have to miss school. It really breaks my heart. Hmm. I'm sure it does. All right, well, I gotta go, or I'm gonna be late. I'll see you later, all right? All right, see ya. <laughs> Jay, my guy, you did it again, bro. You're a genius. Hey, 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 hey. This class is nice. My ankle is healed. Good try, Jay. <sighs> you knew. Mm-hmm. Now get dressed for school right now. And you better hurry. <sighs> but mom, I don't want to go to school. I hate that place. Well, sometimes I don't want to go to work, but I still have to. Man, I'd much rather go to work than class. Yeah, you say that now because you don't have to do it. The grass isn't always greener on the other side, you know. Now go get ready. And I'm not playing around anymore. You won't believe what your brother pulled this time. Fake throw up? That was yesterday. Hmm. Another broken arm? Getting warmer. Broken ankle. Bingo. I can't believe how far he is willing to go to get out of school. Well, you know he does hang out with that Mikey kid. I mean, when I 
was young, I hated school too. But now being an adult, I'd do anything to go back to middle school for a day. Come on. I wish he knew what it was like to really be an adult. Well, you might be onto something. What do you mean? Come on, Ma. Must we go through this every time? <laughs> oh, oh, you're right. <laughs> That's a good idea. Thank you. Happy? I'm dressed. You know, Jay, I have a choice for you. You don't have to go to school if you don't want to. Actually? Wait, are you trying to pull a me on me? No, seriously. If you want to drop out of school, then you just have to be an adult and take on all the responsibilities that come with that, including going to work with me today. Do I get paid? I guess we can work something out. How's $50 for the day? 200. It, it, nurses make bank. $100 and that's my final offer. Deal. Ooh, this is the best day of my life. And now that I'm an adult, let me have some of that coffee. Are you sure? Uh, never mind. Go right ahead. I'll go grab you some scrubs. Welcome to being an adult. All right. To no homework, no class, and no tests. So what are we doing? Should we just hang out in the cafeteria? We're about to start morning meds. Up first, Vivian. She's a bit feisty, so tread lightly. Good morning, Vivian. Time for your meds. Thank you. Vivian, I know you're awake. <clears throat> we do this every morning. <clears throat> Sounds like we could be related. Hey, are you sure she's not my grandma? Today is the day I'm escaping this prison. Hmm, I'm sure it is. You can escape after you take your potassium pill. This is my son, Jay. He's gonna be working with me today. I'm just gonna check your swallowing, okay? Before I give you your meds. Mm. Perfect. Great. Okay. Oh, Jay, I need you to hmm? pour a little bit more water. I forgot her pill. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, there you go. Today we're gonna get out of here alive. Okay? Quiet, you don't want the enemy to hear us. I didn't even know I figured it all out. I plan an escape route through the Middle Eastern system. And that's how we're gonna get out of here. Are you with me? Here you go. All right, I just need to watch you swallow your pill, okay? Hold this. Mm -hmm. This is the last day I take these capsules of control. Mm. Great. Here. Let me see. Good job. All right. I'm just gonna update your chart, okay? Now, if you're feeling dizzy, just let Jay know and he'll grab me. Mm. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look, it seems like you feel the same way about- <coughs> Whoa, 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 are you okay? <coughs> hey! Take it. Ew, this is Take it, be quiet, be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. What? I... I'm gonna start screaming. Okay, okay. All I... right, Vivian, you're all set. We'll see you later, okay? All right, come on, Jay. Are you having fun yet? Uh, Mom, I got to tell you, she didn't take the- Oh, I know. She spits it out when I leave. That's why we sneak it into her food, so she doesn't know. Wait, her food? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You can't force her to take it, but it's what I have to go through almost every morning. It's not very fun, is it? Oh. Well, next patient is even more fun. Watch me as I go, now I'm picking flight. Find me in the city, never sleep at night. All around the town, see my name in lights. I was born, I was born, I was born to perform. All across the world, you can call my name. They're rushing to the front whenever I'm on stage. I used to be a player, now I run the game. I was born, I was born, I was born.
Long day. Huh? Oh, um, no, I was just resting my eyes. Today was great. You know, adulting is way better than school. You know, what's nice is I get to come home and my work is done. You know, I don't have to do homework or anything. I can just go play PS5. Your work isn't done. What do you mean? Oh, you think my work stops when the clock is out? Nope. You gotta wash the, the dishes. Mom. M Mom, you gotta be kidding me. Good night, Jay. Why does he my brother just... What? <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> wow. I do all the work around here and you guys just lay here doing nothing. <laughs> Dude, you sound just like Mom. Whatever. Can I just get my money and go to bed now? Sure. All right, there you are. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, didn't we agree on $100? Mm-hmm. So why is my money missing 30? It's called taxes. <laughs> it's part of being an adult. This is ridiculous. You don't take taxes out of my allowance. Oh, see, allowances are for kids. Adults don't get that luxury. This is unbelievable. I just... Come on, go to bed. Good night. Sweet dreams, little bro. He's gonna scream. In five, four, three, two, one. Ma! But where's all my stuff? My PS5? My games? My sheets? Where are my sheets? Well, Jay, when you're an adult, you have to pay for housing. So, in order to sleep in this room, you're gonna have to rent it out. What? Mom, I've been living here for 10 years. This is my room. Sure, it was your room when you were a kid, but now that you're an adult, you gotta pay up like the rest of us. So rent to sleep in this room tonight is $40. For $40? Mm -hmm. But that only leaves me with 30. That's how it is sometimes. And don't forget to pay utilities. That's if you want lights on and to take a shower. What? Forget that, I'll just stay in the dark then. Okay, that just means no Wi-Fi. No what? No, now you're taking this too far. Ugh. How much are utilities? $20. 20 Are you kidding me? Mm hmm So basically this means I'm just giving this check right back to you. $20, right? Just, just take... It sucks. What was that? I hate being an adult. I work for all these hours, get thrown up on me, and then on top of that, that... Psycho Vivian almost trampled me. Then I get home, have to wash dishes, get scammed by capitalism, and on top of that, I'm broke. Hmm. <sighs> Try to tell you, Jay. The grass isn't always greener on the other side. Being an adult is just as hard as going to school, if not harder. I'm starting to see that. Oh, they called me to come in early tomorrow. All right, well, get some sleep. We gotta be at the hospital at six o'clock. Six? Mm-hmm. Uh, Mom? Yes, Jay? I think I wanna go to school tomorrow, if that's all right. Really? Can you say that again? I just wanna record it. Hee-hee-ha, <laughs> you got all the jokes today. So, when can I get my stuff back? Get your stuff back. Oh, no, I already sold it. You did what? Well, you can buy it back. Let's just say 50 bucks. 50? How am I supposed to pay for that? You wanted to be an adult. Mom. Mom, that is not funny. Please give me my stuff back. Mom! That sounds pretty cool. Kind of makes me want to go to my parents' work and see what they do all day. No, you don't. Trust me, it was awful. I'm just glad it's all over with, you know? 
The only one good thing to come out of it was I missed yesterday's exam. Hey. Oh, yeah, about that. Morning, class. I hope you took advantage of your extra day of studying. What's she talking about? Everyone take a pencil out. Your exam starts in five minutes. What? I thought the exam was yesterday. Oh, she was like yesterday too, so she postponed it today. No! We did it. We did it. We're gonna be parents, Rose. Oh, my parents are so excited about this. Hey, do you wanna call anybody from your family? No, I don't care about them. I just wanna hold my baby. Do you see how the pupils aren't constricting? Mm -hmm. Is something wrong? Uh, we're not sure yet. Your baby seems totally healthy, but we're just gonna run a few tests on the vision because we're a little concerned. The pupils aren't reacting well to the light. Well, I, I don't understand. The doctor just said before I went into labor that we had nothing to worry about. Well, not all issues can be detected early on, not with 100% confidence anyway, including blindness. But let's not get worried or ahead of ourselves. We don't know if anything's wrong for sure. And other than that, everything looks great. How can you tell me not to worry when you just said my daughter is gonna be blind? How would something like that even have happened? Well, there are lots of possibilities. Um, infection or vitamin deficiency, birth injury, genetics. Genetics? This is all your fault. My fault? I don't have any blindness that runs in my family. I... Please try not to panic. Do you want to hold your baby before we run the tests? Well, we'll talk about this after we get results. We'll be back as soon as we can, yeah? Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Honey, let's not point the fingers. Besides, if they find something, we're still going to love our baby. Right? Nice. How are we? Oh, so good. <laughs> She's perfect. Good job, Mama. Oh, my sweet, sweet girl. I love you so, so much. It doesn't seem like she's completely blind, but in time, it will get there. Ugh. I really don't want to be the one who has to tell Mrs. Anderson any bad news. Well, we'll do a couple of checks and then we can talk to her. Oh, shoot, I forgot my badge. Can you tell her, though, if it turns out the baby is blind? Who's my healthy baby? Oh, my healthy, perfect baby. My precious Olivia. Are you ready? Wait, let me just put this on her so we always stay connected. There we go. Oh, you little girl. I'll be right back with her. Okay. I'm sorry, ma'am, only hospital personnel pass this point. Oh, of course. Oh, nurse? Hmm? Uh, nothing. Paging Nurse Williams, please report to the obstetrics ward. Nurse Williams, you're needed in the NICU. Thank you. Thank you. You can come. We'll finish up when you get back. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. Oh, uh, sorry. I uh, was just tying my shoe. I'm sorry. I'm new here. I need to take this baby in for more testing, and I can't find where to go. Oh, is that the Anderson baby? Let me check the wristband. Yes. Are you their nurse? Uh, yes, actually I am. I I'd be happy to take her for you. Great. Thank you. I appreciate mm -hmm. it. Nurse. I need to log some information. And we'll be right back. I need you to keep an eye on her for me, please. Rose, where have you been? Oh, I just went to get some fresh air. I couldn't handle all the stress. But you know what? I think it really helped. 
I think everything's gonna be okay now. You know, I realized that no matter what, every child has to be loved unconditionally. Mr. and Mrs. Anderson, we ran a test, and it did seem like your daughter had some issues with her vision. Strangely enough, we ran some more tests, and she passed with flying colors, so there doesn't seem to be anything wrong. My gosh, this is great news. This is great. <laughs> you know, being honest, in all my time, I've not seen anything like this. Well, it's a miracle. That's what it is. It sure is. So I'll just go and get her and bring her. Oh, I almost forgot her necklace. Please don't keep it on her when she's sleeping. It's a choking hazard. OK. How did she get this? Oh, uh, I got it. When I was out just now, I at a little concession stand. Okay. Uh, Olivia. You named her Olivia? Uh, yeah. I, I thought that would be the perfect name for her. Yeah. It's only half of a heart. Where's the other half? Um, I haven't gotten it yet, but I will. I, I'll just get it online <laughs> so we can match. I'm so glad she's okay. Can you imagine raising a child like that? Grandpa, hmm. can I put lipstick on you? No, sweetheart. Grandpa does not want any lipstick on you. <clears throat> yeah, that would be fine. Oh, she's growing up so fast. Does she get her eye color from Rose's mom or dad? From what I hear from her relatives, neither. I mean, her dad, as you know, passed away a long time ago. I've never met her mom. It's like Rose and her mother don't seem to have a relationship at all. I wonder if that's why she didn't want a wedding. Have you met Rose's family? Uh, no, I have a couple of cousins and aunts and uncles. Here they are. Hmm. Well, doesn't look like Olivia gets her features from Rose's side of the family. I don't think I have anyone with light hair or eyes on my side. Do you, Patrick? No, I... I can't think of anyone on my side either. Grandpa, stop talking. Oh, sorry, Princess. That's odd. Are you sure she's yours? You should take a paternity test. Maybe she's the mailman's daughter. Come <laughs> on, Mom. Why would you say something like that? I'm only joking. It is strange, though. I always felt there was something a little off about Rose. No. This is ridiculous, Marcus. You're the father, and it breaks my heart that you don't trust me. I do trust you, but none of this makes any sense. What? What doesn't make sense? She's our child. She always has been. And I can't believe you'd think anything else. Thanks a lot for ruining my night. All right, so what are we thinking? Chocolate, strawberry. Strawberry! Strawberry. That's it. Oh, that's, I'm sorry about that. Oh, well, yeah, it looks like it's the last one. Oh, no, take it. No, it's fine. Really? Yeah. Thank you. It's actually for my daughter's birthday tomorrow. She's turning 11. I can't believe how fast time flies. <laughs> oh, you're telling me. That's, that's weird, because it's actually my daughter's birthday as well tomorrow. <laughs> Ah, uh, where is she? Uh, yeah, mine is always running off with her grandma. Hey, Olivia! Olivia. Whoa. Your daughter's name is Olivia, too? <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> same name, same birthday. Wow, were you going to tell me next that she was born at John, John Green, Green Hospital? Hospital? Daddy, Daddy, can I get this, please? Yeah, sure. Um, Just give me one second, OK? OK. All right. Um, By any chances, you're Daughter. Oh, there she is. Hi, honey. Oh. Mommy, can I get frozen yogurt? Do you think you could take her? Let's go, dear. Um, <laughs> um, this is gonna sound a little weird, but I was, um, does your husband have like dark hair, dark eyes, or? Um, 
ex-husband, actually, and no, no, he has lighter features like mine. I don't know where she gets it from, to be honest with you. I I'm sorry for, for asking so many questions, but uh, has, has she always been... Blind? Yeah, um, it wasn't 100% at first, but it's degenerative. Yeah, I don't know, the weird thing is, when she was first born, all the nurses said she was completely healthy in every way, but once I took her home, that's when it all changed. I don't know, it's almost as if... Oh my gosh. Your pennant. Uh, hi. Was everything all right? You know, the strangest thing happened at the grocery store today. I bumped into a woman who looked exactly like our daughter. Okay, so? It wasn't a big deal until I met her daughter who looked exactly like me. I don't know where you're going with this. Tons of kids have dark hair and dark eyes or don't look like their parents. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there's, uh, there's more. Her daughter, whose name is Olivia, was born the same exact day at the same exact hospital. Plus, she's blind. Just like the nurse initially thought our Olivia was going to be. Is there a point to this story? Because I'm tired and I want to relax. Oh, yeah. I'm getting there. But the next part, it's really bizarre. You know that heart pennant that our Olivia has? The one that you said you were gonna get the other half, but then they stopped manufacturing it? Yeah. So this woman has the same exact heart pendant. But she said it got lost at the hospital. So, is there something that you wanna tell me, Rose? About what? Oh, I don't know, about what happened that day in the hospital? Something that you did? You know what? This is ridiculous. I am so sick and tired of your constant accusations all the time. Olivia is our daughter. You are her father. Is that right? You remember the paternity test that you threw out in the garbage? Well, I took it. And it turns out I'm not the father. So one of the two things is the truth. Either you cheated on me, or you just- I switched the babies, okay? Is that what you wanted to hear? But it doesn't even matter now. Olivia's our girl, we raised her, and nothing's gonna change. Are you insane, Rose? You took that girl away from her real mother. Well, it wasn't fair. Why did we have to get stuck with a- No, don't that? you even try that. Don't you even try that, because we would have loved her. No, I wouldn't have because I've already been through something like this and I was not gonna do it again. You see, the reason I don't ever talk about my mom is because, well, she's blind. Growing up, while other kids got to play outdoors and have fun all day, I had to stay at home and help around the house. It drove me crazy. As I got older, the struggle never ended. There was hardly any money for anything I wanted to do. And I couldn't go anywhere because I always had to help with random things. I hated it. So the moment I turned 18, I left the house and never looked back. So you see, I know what it's like living with a disabled family member. And I was not gonna go through that again with our daughter. I can't believe that you treated your mother like that. Oh, daughter. And even if you didn't wanna be with her or love her, I would have. Because we agreed on something, at least I thought we did. 
that every child needs unconditional love. Yeah, that sounds great, Marcus, but you have no idea how difficult it is. Seeing your daughter fall behind in school, never being able to play sports, never having any friends. I was not gonna deal with that burden. Burden? Who was that? I'm sorry, Rose, but you took this way too far. And I am not gonna let you get away with it. What did you do? There's so much that I would like to say to you. But what I want you to know the most is that raising Olivia has never been a burden. It's been a blessing. And I have loved every second of it. And contrary to what you said, she is great in school. She's the top player in her test league. And she has so, so many friends who love her. And she has certainly most never been a burden. I feel sorry for your mother she had a daughter like you because that is never the way that I would treat a loved one. You told her? What were you thinking? Do you have any idea what's gonna happen now? She's not the only one I told. Ma'am, you're under arrest for personating a medical professional and kidnapping. No, 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 you guys have this all wrong. It's too late, we heard everything. <laughs> no, let go of me! Come with us. Marcus, how would you do this? The right to remain silent. This is all your fault! Anything you say can't even get against the court of law. You guys can come out now. Pamela, I know that this is not gonna undo 11 years. I'm so sorry that we took something from you that you can never have back, like raising your daughter. Olivia is my daughter. But... So is... Daddy, what's happening? And where did Mommy go? Mommy is going to be gone for a while, okay? And I'll explain everything to you later. But I know this is hard to take. But Pamela is your mom. She's your biological mother. Hi. Sweetie, um... I know that this must be... A lot to take in. But look. They connect? Uh-huh. Listen. Now that I know, I, I would love to be part of her life, but I completely understand if, if you don't. No. Are you kidding? Of course I want to be... Hi, Olivia. Um, so nice to meet you again. I held you when you were first born. My name's Marcus, and I'm your dad. He, you are? Does that mean the other Olivia's my sister? Yay, I've always wanted a sister. Daddy, did I tell you I got an A on my English test today? Oh, you did? Well, I gotta tell you, I'm not surprised. Why are we here again? Oh, well, there's someone here that I think that you would love to meet. Can I help you? Hi, uh, you must be Rose's mom. I'm Marcus, uh, her ex-husband. Okay. Uh, I figured that you'd like to Meet your granddaughters. It's their birthday. Oh my goodness, I have granddaughters? Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing them to me. You can't imagine how much this means to me. Is, is my daughter here as well? Uh, that's a long story. If you let us in, I have a lot to tell you. That sounds great to me. Hi. Come on in. This is the haircut I want. Oh, I 
don't think that's a good idea, honey. Why? It's my sweet 16 and you never even let me cut my hair. Because I know you're gonna regret it, Rita. Well, we can do a fun color, maybe, or some streaks. Mm. I don't think that's a good idea either. Her hair is super sensitive and she has to use these special products or she gets a reaction. How about just a nice wash and set? I always get that. Why can't you be more like Thea Rosa? She lets Camila get whatever she wants. I don't know why you're asking me, Camila. They're your nails. Do whatever you want. Uh, can I have these in a size seven, please? Thank you. Um, I'll do the Barbie pink then. Perfect. Are we thinking acrylic, gel, dip? Oh, um, mom, which one should I get? Oh. Oh, perfect. I'll be right there. You know what, honey? I gotta go. I'll see you soon, okay? Bye, honey. But you didn't tell me which... Um, let's do the first one you said. Great. I'm so mad my mom wouldn't let me cut my hair. You're so lucky your mom lets you do what you want. I didn't get acrylics. I don't know. I'm starting to regret it. I can't even send a text. Ugh. Honestly, you're lucky your mom cares. I could shave my head and she wouldn't even notice. I'd take the Amarta over my mom any day. I don't know what to do with her, Rosa. She won't listen to anything I say. Well, you lecture like mom, that's why. Give her some freedom. Rita's smart and she's responsible, unlike Camila. Camila's a really good girl. I would trade you for a week any day. Are you serious? Because I will. Um, oh. If I didn't know any better, I would think that this was your 16th birthday. That dress is way too young for you. Uh, don't be jealous just because I can still kind of pull this off. Jealous. Mom, we have to go. We have to get back to the Airbnb to pack and our flight's in three hours. Oh, I hadn't realized. We'll be fine. No, we won't. That's how we missed our flight here. Hey, Marta, please talk some sense into her. Camila's right. You need to go pack. LAX has a lot of traffic. There goes the drill sergeant, always telling people what to do. Well, at least you're not in my situation. It's like I'm the parent, she's the child. All right, everybody, we'll leave. Sheesh. So, for your birthday, I was thinking maybe it would be nice to add some sort of charity aspect. Maybe like a book drive? What? That is literally so lame. It's my sweet 16, not Mother Teresa's. Mom, look how cute Zendaya's hair is. This is exactly what I want. And what's so wrong about it? Rita, the hair conversation is over. And how many times do I have to tell you to not have your phone at the table? Please, put it away. I'm so sick of your rules. My friends don't have to look like this, so why do I? Because I am not your friend's mom. I'm your mom. And as long as you live in this house, you will follow my rules. I hate how you're so controlling. Sometimes I wish I didn't even have to live in this house. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that all about? Just Rita thinking she knows more than me like usual. Is it my fault? Do I care too much? Should I act more like Rosa so she'll actually miss me? Right. Or you could swap daughters for a bit. Then she would probably miss you too. <laughs> you know, Rosa said the same thing. Really? Yeah, I thought she was kidding, but I don't know. Maybe it's not just a terrible idea. Hmm. I can't do anything with these nails. This is so annoying. Yeah, I was wondering why you got them so long. Because you didn't care. Maybe if you cared a little more, like dear Martha with Rita, this wouldn't have happened. Would you just stop? I'm trying to get some peace before our flight and you're just stressing me out. Oh, I'm sorry. Just do your yoga. I'll take care of myself like I've been doing the past 16 years of my life. Oh, will you get that, please? Hi, Camila. Is your mom here? Oh. Hey, sis. Come in, come in. Hey, sis. Hey, so were you serious earlier? 
You know about Camila and Rita switching places for a week? A week? What about a month? Or a lifetime? Wait, what's going on? Camila, honey, how would you like to stay with me for a week? Well, that sounds amazing, but um, what about my party? You can have yours at our house, and I can have mine with your mom in Vegas. That way, I won't have someone trying to control everything. Be careful what you wish for, Rita. The grass isn't always green around the other side. Well, this grass is pretty much non-existent. Hey! How quick do you want to do it? Let's go for it now. Now? Let's do it. Pack up. Remember, don't talk to any strangers, protect your documents, and don't leave your bags unattended. You sound like TSA, Mom. I'm almost 16. I'll be fine. Get off my case. Goodbye to you too, Mom! Bye, honey! I love you! I miss you! So, no. what are we thinking? <gasps> you like? Yes, I love it. Mm. It's perfect for my party. What do you think, Thea? Uh, um, yeah, it's great. Yeah. yeah, can you believe Becky G wore that to the VMAs? <gasps> okay, if you're ready to book it, I just need a signature and we're good to go. Oh, oh, oh girl, did you get that photo I sent you? Yeah, I thought the same thing. You know what? I gotta take this. It's really important. What about the contract? Well, you can decide. I trust you. I know. I saw the TMZ interview as well. It's totally crazy. Uh, is it okay if I take it home and look through it? I've never signed a contract before. Sure. But no guarantees this space won't be booked by then. Coming with me. My mom usually doesn't have time for stuff like this. Aw. I'm not used to that. I'm glad somebody actually wants me around. So, what do you think about these? They're both so cute. I'm, they're really nice. But I'm thinking maybe just a little bit too revealing. Oh, <laughs> my mom usually doesn't care what I wear. But maybe you're right, yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish Rita would respond like that. Oh, how about something like this? It's so sophisticated, but also so fun. It would look great on you. I cannot believe you're letting me cut my hair. I've been wanting to do this for forever. I say it's your life. Do whatever you want. You know, you will look good with a little bit of color, too. Would you want to dye your hair? Um, I would, but I've never dyed it before, and my scalp's pretty sensitive. What do you think, Thea? Oh, well, um, I think you should stop worrying about it and make your own decisions. I'm going to go next door and get a matcha. Yeah. Have fun, ladies. Um, yeah, I guess we could just see where it goes. Might wait the neighbors up, break you in and break you out. In the end, we're gonna make the chat. Then we gonna hit the show. Part Sorry, um, I was just picking music for the party. Oh, well, would you mind if I made some suggestions? Really? I love that. I was thinking about adding some Megan Thee Stallion, Ice Spice. What were you thinking? Um, I was thinking something more along the lines of Beethoven. It's upbeat, it's classy, there's no swear words. I think everyone will love it. But it's a sweet 16. We want to turn up. Oh, no, we can still turn it up. See? No, I meant... Never mind. You know what? Why don't you just let me worry about the playlist, okay? Oh, and on another note, I have a surprise for you. I invited somebody very special to your birthday party. Wait, like a celebrity? You'll just have to wait and see. Oh. 
Oh my gosh, my hair! Oh! What, oh what's with God. all the commotion? It's literally a disaster. I uh, it can't be that bad. Oh, it is that bad. Wow, oh, you're right. What happened? I must have got like a reaction from the dye or something. If you were more involved, this would have never happened. My hair is ruined. Ah, uh, you know what? It's way too early for all this complaining, Rita. Especially before coffee. Just go get it fixed. I can't. Today's my party. Oh, your party's today? Wow, you definitely don't have time to get it fixed then. Maybe wear a hat. I'm gonna get coffee. Hey, Martha, can you please change the music? Everyone's so bored. Can we please play hip hop? Honey, hip hop is full of profanity. It's not what young people should be listening to. I know. Why don't we play some games? I could set up musical chairs. This is a sweet 16, not preschool. You know what? I think it's time for the special guest. That'll liven things up. Everyone, are you ready for your special surprise? Okay, please welcome the Little Mermaid. Happy birthday, Camilla! <laughs> Do you want to sing with me? Okay, let's go before Flounder shows up. <laughs> Wait, please don't go. I'm sorry, Cam, but this is why. <laughs> Camila, you're being very rude to Ariel. I don't care. I'm so tired of you and all your rules and restrictions. The music was lame, I hate this dress, and worst of all, you invited a Disney princess to my sweet 16. You ruined my party. I'm still getting paid, right? Hey, Tia Rosa, where's all the food? Everyone's starving. Food? I thought you were getting the food. No, I'm 16. You're the parent. You're supposed to take care of it. Says who? Last time I checked, this isn't my party. Gen Z, I tell you, so entitled. Get it. All right, everybody out. Wait, wait. What is going on? We've only been here for an hour. Why are you trying to kick everyone out? This party's in violation of a noise code set in place by the neighborhood. Noise code? What even is that? Don't act like you don't know. It's in the contract. Absolutely no loud music is to be played. All right, let's go, let's go. Don't make me ask again. I shall want to be arrested. Thanks to you, my party's destroyed. Thanks to me? What did I do? What didn't you do? You're supposed to help me. I don't know anything about contracts or even parties. I'm 16. I've been acting more like an adult than you have this entire time. I'm confused. I thought this is what you wanted. More freedom. You're starting to sound just like Camila. Had I known you were gonna be such a headache, I would have never, ever agreed to this switch. Uh-uh. She is your headache now. I can't deal with her anymore. Oh my gosh. What happened? Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Mom, don't ever leave me again. Oh, okay. What is going on with you guys? I thought you both hated us. We did, but we realized that you should always be careful what you wish for. Because the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Hmm. Sorry, Mom. I actually appreciate how easygoing you are. And I appreciate how protective you are. Oh, thank you, honey. But I think I've realized that I need to let off the brakes a little bit. <laughs> you are 16 now. <laughs> what? Oh, I don't have to change. I'm perfect. 
the way I am. Uh, okay, well, maybe I can be a little more attentive. Okay, um... When did you get these acrylics? They're just way too long. I'm kidding. I knew she got them. Come on. <laughs> Why aren't we taking the private jet back again? I told you, Preston, that they don't make that engine anymore. So we're gonna have to buy a whole new plane when we get back. Good. Anything's better than taking a commercial flight with... Ugh, poor people. Hey. At least we're gonna be in first class. Actually, Preston, your father and I are in first class, and the only seat they had left available was in economy. <laughs> You're joking, right? N no, no, I'm not sitting back there. Can't one of you switch with me? I, I all right. <sighs> See, you have spoiled him too much. Now boarding group one to San Francisco. Should we board? Preston's in boarding group four. You want him to get on the plane all by himself? Oh, yeah, I forgot him. I feel bad. Why don't I just give him my ticket, and then you guys can board together? No. We made an agreement, and we're sticking to it. All right. I have to take this. <laughs> I have to. Yeah. Wow, this is so awesome. I've always wanted to go on a flight before. <laughs> How long is the flight again? A few hours, it's not too bad. Wow. No wonder everyone has tablets and laptops. Hey, do you guys think maybe I could get an iPad for Christmas this year? Even an old, used one? Sorry, son. This trip to Philly to see Grandma is your Christmas gift. Maybe next Christmas. Okay, I don't <laughs> mind waiting. And thanks again for booking this. Oh, honey, we are going to have so much fun. Uh, let's go sit over there. Okay. I've always wanted to switch. Do you have any two-player games? So I can play with you? <laughs> no, thanks. I'd rather just play by myself. Do they serve food on the plane? I'm hungry. Yeah, but with our tickets, you have to pay for the meals, and they're pretty expensive. That's okay. Do you think we go to McDonald's when we land? <laughs> now boarding group two to San Francisco. Do they even serve good food on this flight? It's probably gonna be the microwave slop, like that breakfast sandwich from the kiosk. You don't have to be so picky all the time. You can just eat whatever they have on coach. I'm not eating that garbage. Dad, when we land, can we go to Morton's? I really want the Wagyu. Oh, well, that sounds good. But, um, we're gonna go home right after, so why don't you get something to eat on the plane? Ugh, no! My stomach already hurts from that disgusting sandwich. Ugh, you know what? I'm going to the bathroom. Now boarding group three. You better make it quick, because we're about to board. Ugh, you better get me a really nice Christmas gift this year to make up for all this trauma. Whoa. Sorry, it's the grocery store calling. I have to take this. Well, this is the first vacation we've had in four years, Phil. I'll be fast. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go to the gift shop, see if they have more Sudokus. Okay, watch our luggage. What? I finished all the puzzles. They're only 99 cents. Son, actually, can you watch the luggage? That kid must have dropped. Oh, cool. And now boarding crew four to San Francisco. Oh, that's us? Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, there he is. Have a nice flight. Mm -hmm. 
Where's Tommy? I'm gonna check the restrooms. Maybe he went in there. Oh, okay. Tommy. Sport, let us know next time you go to the bathroom. I'll be waiting outside for you. Well? Yep, he's in the bathroom by the sounds of it. He's gonna be in there for a while. Oh. I just hope he's okay back there. He's never been economy anything before. He's fine, Jeff. He's got his Nintendo thingy. He'll be glued to that for hours. <laughs> Boarding for flight 718 to Philadelphia will begin soon. Oh, there he is. Tommy, come on. We're boarding. Let's go. Tommy, let's go. Why didn't you answer when I called your name, Tommy? Because my name's not Tommy. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Where, where is Tommy? I don't know. So you're gonna have to take your seat. Oh, I just want to give my son his neck pillow. He's the one with the red hat. On. Okay, I'll give it to him. Okay. Ah, your phone has to be in airplane mode. Right. Sorry about that. Here. You're about to Um. He's got um, dark blonde, uh, light brown hair, and he's, he's, he's wearing a red hat and, and black pants, and, and we already checked in the restrooms. Is that the kid? No, no, um, I thought so too, but I don't, I don't know who this boy is, and I, th I think he's also looking for his parents. Will Tommy Miller please come to the kiosk? Tommy Miller, please come to the kiosk. We're gonna do our best to find your son. Excuse me, little man? Yeah, yeah. Do you know where your parents are? <sighs> No, I mean, I went to the bathroom and when I came back, like, they were not there. Oh, we were supposed to go on a flight to San Francisco and... <sighs> I don't know what happened. No, it's, it's not possible. Our, our kids got switched. It's possible. Is that flight to SFO and taken off yet? Let's check. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've reached 37,000 feet. Feel free to walk about the cabin. Hey, son, they had some Biscoff cookies up in first class. Thought you'd like to have some. I've never had those. Wait a second. You're not my son. Where are my parents? Oh, no, 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 no. Preston? <gasps> Preston? What's wrong? Mom? Dad? Where's Preston? <sighs> Mom? Dad? What's going on? Uh, we, we, we can't find our son. So the, do we have any? Have we heard anything about where he might be? You left me, <sighs> sweetie. Thank God you're okay. Oh, it was an accident. We thought you were this other little boy who boarded with us. Um, Tommy? Tommy. Oh, he's 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 on the plane. I'm 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 Lisa Miller. I'm his mom. Oh, yes, yes, he's okay. Don't worry. He's he's sitting in his seat. And Preston, we're gonna get the first flight back, okay? So we're gonna see you real soon, son. I mean, talk. Actually, Mr. Thompson. I checked, and there might not be another available flight until tomorrow morning. Then we will charter a plane or rent a car or do whatever we have to. What? I'm supposed to stay here all this time? Oh, no way! I don't even have my switch. Oh, just send me money to stay at a hotel or something. Preston, if if I may. Hi, Mrs. Thompson. Um, if it's okay with you, we can watch Preston in our home while you're trying to get Tommy back. It's, I mean, it's the least we can do considering you're taking care of our son. Really? Oh, that, that would be amazing. And we will try to get back as soon as possible. Okay, great. And Preston, you be on your best behavior. 
you listen to whatever Mr. and Mrs. Miller tell you to do. This never would have happened if we just had two private jets. I thought you guys were taking me to your house. This looks like a sketchy motel. Um, this is our house. It's it's an apartment. Uh, where are all the bedrooms? We just have the one, and the couch turns into a bed for Tommy. He sleeps in the kitchen? Uh, well, um, this is also our living room and our dining area. I know it's not much, but we make do. Yeah, but like, where's the guest bedroom, the theater room, the game room? OK, come on, you got to have a game room. How do you guys live without all these things? Well, something we teach Tommy is that if you focus too much on all the things that you don't have, you can forget to appreciate all the things that you do have. Yeah, but you guys don't have anything. Uh, you know what? You must be thirsty. Can I get you something to drink? Uh, yeah, I'll take a Pellegrino. Sparkling. <laughs> well, I have tap water or oh, milk. Oh, this looks like it expired yesterday. Still smells good, though. I'll pass. Do you guys at least have a PS5? Hmm. There you go, honey. Thank you. Uh, okay, here you go, Tommy. I wish I could have got you something better, but all I had were these sandwiches. No, this is great. Thank you so much. All right. So good. <laughs> oh, gosh, I hope they let us know about the flight soon. I'm really worried about Preston. Oh, he's gonna be fine. He's with the Millers. I mean, they seem like they're really nice people. I know. It's just that this is all my fault. If we would have just let him sit up in first class like he wanted, or you were right, should have given him our ticket. If we did, this just wouldn't be happening. Just relax, honey. It's not your fault. It was an accident, you know. And besides. Preston needs to hear no every once in a while. You know that Tommy hasn't complained once? I can only imagine how Preston is acting right now. Yeah. He has to start somewhere. But it wasn't. Ugh, why do you not have Apple TV or, or cable? I'm gonna die of boredom. Just play games on my phone. Do you guys at least have a charger here? Uh, for the iPhone. Uh, sorry, we just have micro USB. You guys don't have iPhones? I mean, Tommy must have a tablet or something, right? No, we talked about getting one next year. Next year? Oh, if I knew it was going to be this boring, I would have just stayed at the airport. Well, we have some board games or some puzzles. Are you, uh, are you hungry, Preston? I don't know if you like Italian. Yes! Yes! I cannot spend another minute in this dump. Oh, I can really go for some lobster fettuccine Alfredo. Oh, I am. Um, I meant I made spaghetti. Oh, oh, please. I don't want to be here anymore. I want to go out to eat. Sorry, we don't go to restaurants often. It's just so much more expensive than eating at home. Please, just try it. Oh. All right, all right, there you go. Oh, thanks, honey. It's actually not bad. <laughs> is that your Christmas tree? Mm-hmm. Why isn't there any presents under it? Ours is like a hundred. Well, uh, you're very blessed, and we just couldn't do Christmas presents this year. So Tommy's not getting anything? Oh, he is. Uh, that trip we were going to take is his Christmas gift. And he's okay with that? Are, are you kidding? He couldn't be happier. It's the first time he's ever gonna go on an airplane. Well, <laughs> I guess the second. Maybe I am blessed. <gasps> they got a flight back! Oh, amazing! Great. Well, you don't have to spend too much longer in this dump. Maybe that was a poor choice of words. 
Actually, I will have some of that milk. <gasps> yes. Right. You okay, bud? Ah! My baby boy, I am so sorry. I'm never, ever, ever gonna leave you alone ever again. Oh. Are you okay, sweetie? Yeah, the Thompsons were really nice. They even bought me some food. Oh. Thank you so much for taking care of our son. And thank you for looking out for ours. And don't worry, we got you first class for the flight home. Wait, really? For all of us? No, not exactly. It's gonna be your mother and you up in first class and I'm gonna sit in the back. But I don't mind flying coach, so you can pick whoever you wanna sit with Preston. You, you know what? <clears throat> it's fine. I honestly don't mind sitting in the back. Are you sure you're our son? <laughs> I mean, that's really sweet of you, but after what happened, we're not gonna have you sitting alone. Well then, maybe we can all just sit and coach together? You wanna sit economy? What? Where is all this coming from? I was worried you would be upset that we're not flying private. No, no, not at all. I guess I just realized that if you focus too much on all the things that you don't have, then you forget to appreciate all the things that you do have. I don't know what you did with our son, <laughs> but whatever it is, we appreciate it. If you are ever in San Francisco, I would love it if you would come visit us. You've got a really great kid. Yeah. Yeah, he's the best. <laughs> are we still gonna go see Grandma? We'll try again tomorrow. The airline gave us new tickets. Great! Wait, your Nintendo Switch. Oh, yeah, uh... Actually... You keep it. Just... Consider it an early Christmas gift. I've already got enough presents at home. Seriously? We can't accept that. No. We, we didn't get Preston anything. <gasps> oh. Oh. Trust me, this <laughs> little rascal's got enough presents. It's okay. <laughs> and... What you gave to him is something no money could buy. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. Let's get in, bud. Give me a hand. Let me help you, my lady. Uh, hey, Dad. When we land, can we please go to Morton's? I really want that Wagyu. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm fine with whatever. I just want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Let's go. Oh, wait, we're eating hamburger helper again? I'm sorry, sweetie, but that's all we can afford right now. You know, when I was a kid, there was days that we didn't even have any food. So, what's that got to do with me? Well, all I'm saying is sometimes you don't know what you got until it's gone. I mean, I would have killed to have some hamburger helper when I was at your age. Okay, whatever. Did you know that your dad and I actually met when we were your age? I remember it like it was yesterday. And you were still wearing the same bracelet. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh. Mama was in the cafeteria, she was the new girl, yada yada. And I didn't know where to sit at lunchtime and there's this really cute boy named Joey who asked me to sit by him. <laughs> and he complimented me on my hair. And and the rest is history. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's talk about something that doesn't want to make me puke. Maybe like a new iPhone? What about it? Oh, yeah. Hey, um, yeah, when can I get a new upgrade so I don't have to use this piece of crap? <gasps> Brandon, you know our situation. We will get you a new phone as soon as possible. But everyone else has one. This is so dumb. Hey, watch that tone, young man. You two are so annoying. I wish you two never met. Gosh, damn. Like everyone else has PS5s, new shoes, and new phones. My parents are the worst. Are you even listening? I'm sorry, I've, I've just, I've finally figured this out. What is that? It's a time machine. Yeah, right. I swear. No, it, it works. I wish it did, man. I would go back 25 years ago and make it to where my parents never met. Yeah. Are you 
you serious, bro? All you have to do is type in how many years you want to go back in the past and hit the call button. When you are ready to come back to the present, just hit the pound key and uh, pull again. Like you, Neil, out of all people, figured out time travel. Okay, let's see this. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna put this thing on, right? Yeah. Press these buttons right here, and then magically just... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, man. Neil, I had the craziest dream. Oh my gosh. It worked! Joey, make a move already. Lay off, I will. Dad? Well, you better hurry. All right, she's the new girl in school. All right, so you better act fast before she meets someone else. I, you're not the only guy who's into her. I get it. Do you? Ew. Wait a minute. They haven't met yet. All right, let's see, who do we have? My old man's passing down his multi-million dollar company to me once he decides to hang up his boots. You're lucky, man. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> do I know you? Yeah, I've, I'm your future s Never mind. Uh, see that pretty girl right there? She is super into you, man. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Never talked to her before. Uh, yeah, well, uh, she's new. Her name's Libby. You should go introduce yourself, like right now. <laughs> I don't know anything about her. Okay, well, uh, her favorite color's purple. Um, she's a Gemini, she loves pickleball, and her favorite movie is Legally Blonde, okay? All right. What's pickleball and Legally Blonde? Uh, just compliment her hair and she'll love you, okay? All right, go for it, man. Hey, Joey, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, you are? Um, not important. Later, fam. <laughs> Wait, fam? <laughs> you see? Neil! Dude, it worked, man. I introduced my mom to someone else, and whoa, why do I sound like this? Uh... It's not just how you sound. Oh! I got the new iPhone? <laughs> what the heck? I mean, you have a new dad. What did you expect? I'm rich? Oh, this is fire. And I've got a maid? Hey. <laughs> no way! I have a PS5? And an Oculus? Neil the genius! <laughs> yes! How dare you your life, Martha? Mostly your mother. What do you want from me? You promised you would change. Oh, come on, Lib. Every rich, successful man cheats. You know what you signed up for when you married me. I married you because I loved you. Not so you could betray me every chance you get. <laughs> this was the last straw. I want a divorce. Fine. Hope you enjoy losing everything. Did you forget about our little prenup? I don't care about your money. But I'm taking Brandon with me. <laughs> no, you're not. Oh, yeah? Well, I wonder what the judge is going to think when I tell him you have been unfaithful our entire marriage. If you learn nothing, I have all the money. I have all the lawyers. You have nothing. Everything you have is because I bought for you. This house. Your whole little life, it's all mine. And you can believe me when I say that you're never gonna see Brandon again. Now get out of here.
So, uh, how's the new life? Seems like it's uh... terrible. I was way off setting my mom up with that jerk. Oh. Jeez, I'm sorry. So, uh, what are you gonna do now? The only thing I can do, go back in time. she help? <sighs> I've gone through so many dads, and every time my life gets worse. Way worse. Well, you can't keep trying to get it right forever. In fact, based on my calculations, you have two jumps left. Oh. Uh, one jump. Yeah, nah, you got one jump left, and it'll automatically bring you back here before it dies. You will have no control over it. I mean, zero. What? All right, well, looks like I better make this one count. Come on, school's over. Computer lab's closed. Scram. Over? But can't be. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sent me to the wrong boy in time? Huh? <gasps> so, tonight? No, no, no. I'm too late. You and me? If I can just go back in time a little further, This is bad. Real bad. Oh. Hey, you know Joey, right? Uh, yeah. What's up? What's up? Doesn't matter. Do you know where he is? Like right now? No. My whole future depends on this, man. Oh, it's you. Finally. Do I know you? Yes and no. But there's no time for that because... What? Whoa. This is where you live? You're having cereal with water? It's what we got. Anyway, 
I need you to come with me, like right now. What? Where? Uh, you know Libby, right? The new girl? She really wants you to ask her out on a date. Like now. Really? Yeah. And, and, and go where? Uh, the mall. Because she has another day and you have to ask her before the other day asks her. Other day? Yeah. Uh, I'll explain on the way. Wait. Do you have any other clothes, maybe? Without holes in it? Uh, no, not really. Come on, come on. Oh, perfect. She's alone. I'm just supposed to go up to her and say what? Uh, compliment her hair. Oh, and mention her braided bracelet. Don't worry, the rest will take care of itself. How can you be so sure? Just trust me. Listen, I'm gonna distract him. You go talk to Libby, okay? And don't screw this up. Both of our futures are riding on it, okay? What does that mean? Hey, Richie, right? Um, I have a really important message uh, from your dad. It's, it's about your uh, inheritance. What are you talking about? Um, look, man, he uh, needs to talk to you, like, right now. He said, uh, if you don't go home, dude, you're out of his will. Everything's gone. <sighs> Sorry, man. Uh, what? No. No. No, 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 please, it's too soon. Not yet, no, no, no! <gasps> oh, thank you! Thank you, God! It's all back to normal! You're back! Oh my gosh. <sighs> Well, you're in a good mood today. <laughs> Look, um, son, uh, your mom and I have been talking and we feel really bad about the whole phone. I, I don't care. I don't care about the phone or the shoes or the food or any of it. I'm just so happy you two are my parents. I love you guys so much. Oh, uh, sweetheart. Uh, we love you too. What changed? You were so mad at us earlier. <laughs> I... Guess I just realized sometimes you don't know what you have until it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a big uh, change of heart. Just one day. Well, feels a little bit longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy, remember that dance routine we practiced? I think it would be fun to record it for TikTok. Let's try it. No, Mom, I'm in the middle of building something. Look, it's a spaceship. Oh, that's nice, honey, but you can play after. Let's record the dance first. Please, do it for me. <sighs> Fine. Oh, sweetie, we're gonna have to find you a better outfit. Why? This is my favorite shirt. I want you to look as cute as possible. It'll help get more views. I'll just go inside and grab- I don't want to change. I just want to get this over with. Fine. But next time, I'm picking your outfit. Ready? Yes. Great. Don't forget to smile. In three, two, There, can I go play now? That was close, but let's try it one more time. How are my beautiful girls doing? Hey, we're just practicing some more dance moves for TikTok. Aw, having fun, Mandy? No, mom's making me do it. I just wanna play. Stop, she loves it. I don't know, why don't you just let her do what she's more interested in? And where's playing with Legos gonna get her? With TikTok, she can actually be successful, even at her age. Do you know there's kids out there who've become millionaires from doing little dances like this? That may be true, but I've always been a believer that if you let someone follow their passion, they'll always be successful, no matter what. So go easy on her. I'm gonna go change. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Why would you tell Dad I'm making you do this? You love dancing. No, I don't. I've told you that so many times, Mom. Can I just play with my Legos? We haven't finished recording. 
This could get a lot of views. I don't care about that stuff. I just want to have fun. I was playing with that. How about we make a deal? You can have your Legos back after we finish recording some more dances. How does that sound? Mm, fine. Smile. Smile big, Mandy. Great. Now let's do that a few more times. Well, sweetie, you're uh, getting pretty good at this. Thanks, Dad. And this is for kids almost twice your age. It's pretty impressive. Maybe you have a future with this. I hope so. I could do this all day. <laughs> I'll see you later, sweetie. Mandy, you won't believe this. Our little dance video got 100,000 views. People are leaving so many comments. Plus, we just broke 20,000 followers. Didn't you hear me? People love you, honey. That's cool. I can't believe you aren't more excited about this. If it was me, I'd be thrilled. Then maybe you should dance in the next video, Mom. <laughs> you know, if I could, I would. But you're the cute dancer here, sweetie. You're the star. Speaking of which, we need to record another dance. Oh, Mom, do I have to? I'm in the middle of this. Oh, not this again. You see how popular our last TikTok was? We need to make more now for your fans. Fans? Yes. You have fans now, and we don't want to let them down. So let's do another dance. Mom, I told you I don't want to be a dancer. But sweetie, this could be your future. Our future. I already know what my future is going to be. I want to build things. Maybe I'll be an engineer. Oh, honey, you're too young to know what you want to do when you get older. It's rare to be this successful at something so quickly. So let's take advantage of this, okay? I'm going to take this, but I'll give it back to you after we're done recording. Be careful with that. It took me hours to build. Hours? Perhaps you're wasting way too much time on this. If you spent that time making TikToks, then we could actually- Mom, you ruined it! How could you? I I'm sorry, it was an accident. But now that that's out of the way, we can focus more on dancing. Come on, let's record outside. Your dad can clean this up later. No, I don't want to! You ruined everything! We just hit 60,000 followers. If we keep this up, we'll eventually start making money from this. Wait, does that mean I can buy some new Lego sets? <laughs> Mandy, forget about toys. I'm talking about new outfits, dance lessons. Maybe this could even pay for your college tuition one day. You know how expensive school is. Plus, maybe I can buy that new- Sorry, <laughs> sorry, are you dancing Mandy? Yes, she is. Oh my gosh, my daughter and I are huge fans. It is so nice to meet you both in person. I think you're a great dancer. I wish my girl would dance like you. Mandy, isn't that nice? She says she's a fan. What do you say? I don't even like dancing. <laughs> Sorry, she appreciates it. She's just a little shy. I see. Okay, well, I'll let you get back to it. Have a good day. Can you believe it? Someone just recognized you. I told you we're gonna be famous. Are you excited? I'd be excited if I got the new Lego set I want. Oh gosh, not that again. All right, recording in three, two, one, go. I told you, you need to smile more. Act like you're having fun. But I'm not having fun. I don't wanna do this. Don't say that. Come on, give me a big smile. You look so pretty when you smile. You want me to fake a smile? Sure, people fake smile all the time. I know I do. Perfect, all right, here we go. A one, a two, a one, two, three.
Honey, why are you crying? Sorry, Mom. I just don't want to do this. Fine. If you don't want to dance, don't you at least want to make your mother proud? Huh? All right, then. Do it for that reason, if nothing else. It's obvious you've been crying now. Come on, shake it off. The mom keeps making her daughter do TikToks, despite how anyone else seems to feel about it. As time goes on, the mom continues to force Mandy to record more and more videos. Regardless of how sad Mandy seems, the mom only seems concerned with her followers and dollars. As their views and followers start to climb, eventually Mandy gets picked up by some local news. The mom is over the moon in excitement thinking they're going to make it big. But as Mandy's fame hits an all-time high, a video of the mom forcing her daughter to dance surfaces and starts to go viral online. It doesn't take long for the mom to start getting lots of hateful comments and lose a lot of followers. Honey, why are you crying? Sorry, mom. I just don't want to do this. Fine. If you don't want to dance, don't you at least want to make your mother proud? Huh? All right, then. Do it for that reason, if nothing else. Hey, honey. It's obvious you've been crying now. Like on, an awful mother. <laughs> Don't let that video stress you out too much. I'm sure all those people will get over it eventually. All the popular creators, they all go through that stuff. It's not so much about what people think. It's that I got so caught up in all the internet fame, I didn't realize how bad of a mom I was being to Mandy. Everything's gonna be fine. Don't be so hard on yourself. I'm sure your intentions were good. They were. I really thought that this could help pay for Mandy's future. But I guess I took it way too far. I should have listened to her more. You know, not to pour any salt in the wound or anything, but she did tell you many times that she had no interest in dancing. Sometimes you just gotta let her do whatever makes her happy. Like what? Playing with Legos? Where's that gonna get her? She's a kid. She has so much time. Besides, like I said, if you let someone follow their passion, they will always be successful. No matter what. You just gotta trust that. Hey, Mom. Are you feeling better? Yeah, I'm okay, sweetheart. Thanks for asking. I was thinking maybe we can record more TikToks. Really? You would want to do that? No, but I will if it'll make you feel better. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Sweetheart, I am so sorry for forcing you to do that. You know what? What are you doing? Deleting the TikTok account. From now on, you don't have to do anything you don't want to. There, it's done. Really? It's a big decision. I should have done that a long time ago. Okay, so what should we do now? I don't know. Didn't you say there was a new Lego set you wanted? Yeah, but it's super expensive. Well, it's a good thing we did make some money off of your views. And it's only right it should go to you. So, do you want to go to the store? Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> Thank you so much, Mom. 
From that moment forward, the mom decides she's going to support her daughter no matter what she wants to do. Mandy keeps on building Legos. And this time, she has someone to do it with her. As time goes on, Mandy learns to build more complicated sets. She continues to impress everyone around her even as she gets older. Eventually, she competes in Lego tournaments and even wins first place. Mandy's mom couldn't be more proud. I can't believe you got first place again. How unbelievable <laughs> is this? Who thought you would get this far? I know. Our tech major, here I come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, about that. I am so sorry we couldn't afford you going to USC. But hopefully after a couple years of community Mom, college, you don't have to worry about my tuition. What do you mean? I've been meaning to tell you, Legos has this program called Legos Education, and they've been so impressed with my work that they offered me a full ride scholarship to what? any school I want to go to. No. Yep. So I can go to USC after all. That's amazing. How long have you been hiding this from us? Just a few days. I wanted to tell you, but I was waiting for the competition to be over. Your Lego design was really cool. Oh, thanks. What's your favorite kind of Lego set? Mm, that's a really good question. Probably the spaceship. Yeah. You know, he always wants me to buy him Legos. I never get a minute because I think they'll just end up all on the floor. I hear you. For a while, I didn't want Mandy playing with Legos either. Really? Yeah. I didn't think it would take her anywhere. But then someone reminded me, if you let a person follow their passion, they'll always be successful. He was right. And now it's got her all the way to a full ride scholarship. And who knows where else it'll take her. Wow, what an incredible story. Hmm. I wonder if I should buy my son Legos then. If it makes him happy, it's worth it. Trust me. I appreciate the advice. Come on, Miles. How about we go to the store and pick you up that spaceship you wanted? For real? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Mandy. Bye. Congrats. Again. Bye. Looks like you have a fan without <laughs> Oh, maybe we should take a photo. You know, for Instagram. Actually, we can just enjoy the moment. <laughs> Come on. I don't think I've seen you here before. Are you new or a travel nurse? Oh, I, I'm not from here, but I'm um, here. You can check my credentials here. Go ahead, front and back. Oh, that's fine. I didn't say I didn't believe you. Can I, can I hold my baby now? Oh, sorry, not just yet. I have to get her cleaned up. I'll be right back. But, but I thought babies need skin-to-skin -skin contact after they're born. Oh, no, that's just in the movies. I'll be right back, sorry. Oh, wait, wait, but... That was rude. Where's she going with our baby, Daryl? I'm sure she's just following procedure. Now, everything's going to be fine, sweetheart. Don't worry, okay? So, uh, have you figured out what you're going to name her? I don't know when it's time. <laughs> How do you get this thing to stop crying? Let's hurry up and take it already. I'm going as fast as I can. All right. Okay, all right, give it to me. Okay, get in, keep your head down, be quiet. Where's your wristband? Are you trying to get us caught? You know it's gotta match the babies or they're not gonna let us out of here. Right, right, sorry. sorry. Okay. Excuse me, nurse. Yes? Uh, the other nurse who was with you, she hasn't brought back her girl yet. What do you mean? She hasn't come back with our baby? As in she took her from the room? That, that's odd. She's not supposed to do that. Let me go find out where she is. I'll be right back, okay? 
Just, just try not to stress, Linda. Um, just, just know that everything's going to work out, okay? Something doesn't feel right. I'm getting really worried. Hudson well, office. We acquired a new company today, and so we I have to. I don't want to hear about work right now, Daryl. I want to know where my baby is. Mr. and Mrs. Parker. Where is my baby? Unfortunately, we can't seem to find her. We've looked in the nursery in the NICU. What? But how is this even possible? But we're really sorry. We have contacted security. They're looking at... No, I'm going to go look for her. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, what about the new nurse? Because no one has seen her either. What new nurse? There, there is no one new. Code silver, I repeat, code pink, infant abduction. We need a controlled lockdown. Stat. We're almost there. Excuse me. Can I help you? I just wanted to say congratulations. Babies are such a blessing. Thanks. Whoa, is everything okay? We're on lockdown. Don't let anyone interrupt. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but you can't leave right now. Hospital protocol. She said she was gonna come back with my baby, and then she didn't come back with my baby. She had fake credentials. We've already put out an Amber Alert, and we've started our investigation. We're actively reviewing surveillance. I'm really sorry that this has happened to you, but I promise you, we're gonna get your baby girl back. Why would somebody do this to us? My guess is money. Somebody knows how successful you both are and they've targeted you. At some point, you're going to get a phone call. Answer it and put it on speaker. Hello? Listen close, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I have your baby girl, and she's safe for now. Oh, don't hurt her, please, yeah, What do you want? Please. Quiet! Do you want? I'm doing the talking here. Here's what I want. You're gonna give me one million dollars in unmarked bills to a specific location. A million dollars. A million dollars. How do you expect us to get that Don't kind of money? Don't play dumb. According to Google, your net worth is 150 million dollars. Now you're gonna get a bullseye brand duffel bag in black. You're gonna put the money in it and drop it off at the Sky Rose Mall right in front of the jewelry store. Don't you even think of involving any cops or else. You're not going to get away with this. Your actions always have a way of coming back to you. Yeah, and so will yours if you don't do exactly what I say. Now, if you ever want to see your baby again, 12 p.m. tomorrow, $1 million. Do we have a deal or not? Fine. Fine, you'll get your money, but if there's even a scratch on her head, I can... Well... well. Now we know that there's at least two people involved in this. Now what do we do? Don't worry, we know exactly what to do in these situations. First, we gotta get to a bank. <laughs> Are you sure this is safe? I mean, we have cops everywhere. All right, keep your eyes peeled. Whoever takes that bag, don't let them get away. Anything yet? Not yet. But what happens if they don't give us back our daughter? I have no choice if they want to see the light of day again. After a while, they all turn. Nothing yet. As soon as we see something, we'll... Hold on, hold on. 12 o'clock. Suspicious people coming. That must be them. Remember, wait till they pick up the bag to make the arrest. Who are those people? Oh no. It's a diversion. I repeat, it's a diversion. Stop them now, they're trying to steal the cash. Everybody freeze! Someone took the money. Shut down all the assets. The diversions have fake money. We have to find who took the real money. Who do you work for? Work for? I found this gig on Craigslist. This is for a TV show, right? No, no, don't let them get away with the money. Where's my 
my baby! Don't let the BMW SUV leave the lot. Oh, you stay here. Don't worry, we're not gonna let them get away. Hey, just, just keep faith, baby. Please, just, we're gonna get our baby girl back, I promise. Put your hands on the wheel! Well, at least we got the money back. I don't care about the money. I want to know where my baby is. I understand, ma'am. I'm very sorry. Whoever this person is, is a real professional. So what did the woman in the car tell you? Something quite shocking, actually. I just spoke with the officer who interrogated her, and it turns out that... Hello? You messed up big time. I told you not to get the police involved. Is my baby okay? Please don't hurt her. You may never hear her again if you pull any more stunts. And since you can't be trusted, now you have to give me the money in Bitcoin. Within the next two hours. Two hours? Two, that's not even possible. Well, figure it out. I'll send you the address over text. And it's not one million this time. If you're not following my instructions, you'll have to pay two million now. Keep it on the Don't you understand how much pain you're causing us? Obviously, you're not a parent. Who are you? What's your name? Everything you need to know has been left behind. What's that supposed to mean? Oh. She hung up just before we traced her. The guy must be timing her. The guy? Yeah. Turns out what we've discovered is... What was that, huh? I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't know what to say. I don't trust you. Just pack your stuff. We're going to the border. No. You said you'd let us go when I called. When I was before, you went off script. Once we get to Mexico, I'll let you guys go. Mexico? But how are we supposed to get Darrell and Linda their baby back once they pick money? We said anything about giving their baby back. Come on. Yes. Get up! How long for the drive? Just be quiet. The kids get need food. Before someone... Free! Did you tell them where we were? How? I've been with you the whole time. Please. I was forced to do this, I swear. Where's the girl? In the car. Hold on. There's two kids in here! It's not safe for you guys out here until we get them captured. Please, take your baby to the car. Mom? Mom? Whose kid is this? He's mine. He's the whole reason I got tied up in this mess. You see, a few days ago, I was coming home from the grocery store, and I let go of my son's hand for just a second. And before I knew it, that man came and kidnapped him. And I chased him down to try to get my kid back. But he ended up throwing me in the car too and taking both of us. I woke up alone, tied to a chair inside of his apartment. And he had my son on FaceTime and told me the only way I would ever see him again is I did exactly what he said. And since he knew I was a nurse, he had me sneak into a new hospital and wear a bug so he could listen to me. And, well, you already know what happened next. So you see, I was just trying to get my son back. That evil man right there is behind us all. I even tried my best to leave you guys clues. Why aren't you handcuffing her? She, she stole the baby. Arrest her. You should have listened on the phone. Your actions always have a way of coming back to you. You're gonna go down for a very long time. She, she stole the kid. She stole the kid, not me. She's the one who did it. It's okay. We know you're innocent. We didn't know why you were doing everything before you told us, but we knew you were being forced. And then when we spoke to the nurse, she told us she thought it was odd that you asked her to look at your credentials, both front and back. Well, that's when we realized it was a cry for help. And then after the phone call, when you said everything we needed to know was left behind, we knew you were trying to tell us something. 
So we searched through all the fake money and, well, found an address. Thankfully, we discovered it just in time. Thank you for trying to help us. First, I thought it was you, but even the woman trying to steal the money at the mall vouched for you. Can't believe he blackmailed her too. We found out where more kids are being held. More cops are on the way. Thank God. You still okay if I... Of course. I'm really sorry for what I put you through. I truly am. We forgive you. I finally figured out what her name should be. Faith. 